Good morning everyone. Welcome to Sarojini Smart Learning. So for the last few episodes, you are learning basic mathematics in all the topics. So today we are going to learn about what a, what is a square and what is a square root. Okay. So these subjects will definitely help you when you write any entrance exam also. In the entrance exam, just like Navodaya and uh, military schools and other uh, uh, schools. Okay. So whenever you go, so the, the management will definitely ask you to attempt these questions also. Isn't it? So what is a square and what is a square root? What is the differences between? We are going to discuss today. So first of all, I'm going to start with the squares. So what are squares? Any number which when multiplied by itself is a square. Like suppose 2 is there. So square of 2, square of 2 is nothing but 2 to the power of 2. That means 2 into 2 which is equal to 4. So 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25. So in this way, you are going to learn about squares. Then what about square root? Suppose here if, it, if I take this number, root 4, root 4 is nothing but 2 into 2. So which is equal to 2. I will explain in detail. So what is a perfect square root? If a question comes, perfect square is nothing but it's a square of a particular number. Like suppose if I take 19, so this is not a perfect square root because if you multiply any number into any number, you will not get 19. So you will get suppose if it is 25, so then you can take 5 into 5. You can consider. So this is square root and this is the square. Square is nothing but multiplying the same number to itself one more time. And square root is nothing but that number should definitely be a, be a perfect number. Then only we call it as a square root. So we will discuss in details. So here, here two questions are given. How to find out the square root of a bigger number or a fraction or a mixed fraction. So I am starting with this number. So we have to find out the square root of 5, 19 by 25. That means under square root, we write 5, 19 by 25. So how can you convert the mixed fraction to fraction? First of all, we check 5, 19 by 25. So this is 25 into 5 plus 19 whole divided by 25. So this is the process. 25 into 5 plus 19. So here 25 5s are 125 plus 19 by 25. So 125 plus 19 is nothing but 144 by 25. So that means square root of 519 by 25 can also be written as 144 by 25. So as we know square, so 12 into 12 is nothing but 144 by, this is 5 into 5. So under square root, if it, if it has any two times, so we take as 12 one time and 5 one time. So 12 by 5 is the answer. But it is the question is given in mixed fraction. So again, you have to do, convert it into mixed fraction. Like 5 twos are 10, so 2 left. So that means 2 is the main number, 2 is the whole number, 2 by 5, 2, 2 by 5 is the answer for this question. Okay, here what we did, we have to find the square root of a given number. See, the square root of a given number is a fraction or a mixed fraction. So the question is given in a mixed fraction. So first, first of all, we have to convert into a fraction. Then after the fraction, we have to make it square root. Here also, I can explain you why I wrote 12 into 12 and how it became 12 and 5 into 5 how it became 5 also we will discuss. Okay. So uh, second one before I go second one find the square root of 11 9 by 81. So first of all first of all convert the 
mixed fraction of 11, 9 by 81 into a fraction. So 81 into 11. So already 11 concept I have explained. 891 will get. So this 891 plus 9 by 81. So this is nothing but 900 by 81. So this you can convert as 900 divided by 81. So here the numerator 900 can also split as 30 into 30. Because 3 3's are 9, 2 zeros divided by 9 into 9. So which is equal to 30 by 9 is the answer. So we cannot get cancelled here. But is it possible, uh, if at all any possibility to get cancelled, you can get cancelled. 3 3's are 3 tens are. So which is equal to 10 by 3 is the final answer. But the question is in mixture fraction. So convert this 10 divided by 3. So what you get? 3 3's are, sorry, 3 3's are 9. That is 1. So the whole number is nothing but 3 and 1 by 3. So 3 1 by 3 is a mixture fraction of this question. Have you understood? So in this way, whatever the given question, you try to see it, observe it, understand it and try to do it. Then it will become very easy for you. Okay. So we go next question. So here, uh, we will go to the next two questions. Here, if x by root 4 is equal to root 16, so we have to find the value of x. So we are going to convert. So here, numerator and denominator, denominator has a root, and here, the main number is a root. But we have to find out x. We will check now. So the given question is x by root 4 is equal to root 16 or you can also write x is equal to root 16 is multiplied this denominator will go to the numerator on the other side so root 4 so x is equal to root 16 is nothing but 4 into 4 and root 4 is nothing but 2 into 2 so x is equal to the answer is 4 and here the answer is 2 so x is equal to 8. So in this way we can find out. I'll show you how 16. 16 square root will become 4. I will show you. So square root of 16 can also be written as 16 to the power 1 by 2. If you remove the square root, so you can write to the power 1 by 2. So this is nothing but 4 into 4. Okay, to the power 1 by 2. So this is 4 into 4 is 2 times of 4. That is 4 square to the power of 1 by 2. Which is called 4 to the power of 2 into 1 by 2. 2 to get cancer which is equal to 4. Understood? So in this way we can convert. Similarly 2 into 2 is also equal to 2. So this is the way you are going to find out the value of x in the given equation. So coming to this part. Here there is a root. In that, again one more root is there. In that, one more root is there. That we will check now. So, this is root of 176. I will keep like this plus. Just I want to do only this part. Just I want to do only this part. What is that given? Root 2401. Now, if it is up to 15 numbers or 20 numbers, you can by hand it and you can remember. But it is in 2400. So, we can find out in this matter. Suppose if I take 7 table. 7 3's are 21. Here 3 will left. 7 4's are 28. 2 will left. 7 3's are. Similarly again 7. 7 4's are 28. 7 9's are 63. Again 7 7's are. 7 1's are. That means Square root of 2401 is nothing but square root of 7 into 7 into 7 into 7. So, by multiplying 7 into 7 under root is 7. Here also 7 into 7 is 7. So, which is equal to 49. So, the value of 2401 is nothing but 49. So, here, now the two roots become one root. Now, just add up these two. 176 plus 49. So what you get? You get 225. So 225 is nothing but 
15 into 15, 15 15 is a 225, which is nothing but 15. The whole given question is this one that is under root of 176 plus root of 2401 is nothing but 15. How we did? First, we removed the square root under the square root. We got the answer as 49. Then we added to the first part. Then after doing the calculation, you got 50. Okay. Hope you understood. We'll do one more question. We'll do, we'll, we'll check two more questions in a different form. So the first will be uh, root x plus root of 484 is equal to 40 given. So how we are going to find out this one? So this is not under root. This is not under root. So no problem. So but this is under root. What is that? 484 the square root for what? So let me take 2, 4, 2, 2, 1, 2, 1 and this is 11 into 11. So this is nothing but 11 into 1. So 2 into 2 into 11 into 11. So this is nothing but under root of 484. So under root. So if you split 2 into 2 and here 11 into 11. So the answer is 2 and 11 which is equal to 22. So that means square root of x plus 22 is equal to 40. So square root of x is equal to 40. This plus 22 will become minus 22. So root x is equal to, so what is 40 minus 22 is nothing but 18. So root, if you want to remove root, so squaring on both sides we have to do. Squaring on both sides. So root x whole square is equal to 18 whole square. So root x whole square is nothing but x because root of x into x that is two times. Now this is 18 into 18. So if you know the square that is 324. In this way we can find out x value for any given expression in uh, square roots. Okay. Now we will check this one. 12 square plus 14 square divided by root 10,000. So in 10,000, so 12 square is nothing but you know that 12 into 12. And 14 square is also, you know that 14 into 14 divided by under root which number into which number makes 10,000. So no need uh, for a wrong method. It's nothing but two zeros is multiplied by two zeros. That is 100 into 100. So one ones are one. 2 plus 2, 4 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 12 into 12 is nothing but 144 plus 14 into 14 is nothing but 196 whole divided by 100 because under as I told root A into root A is equal to A only. So when you add 144 plus 196, what do you get? 340 by 100. So 0 at the numerator and denominator get cancelled. 34 by 10 which is equal to 3.4 is your final answer. So here the question may be given in any format. You are going to find out the simplest form. Uh, find out the answer in the simplest form. So definitely we will do uh, more and more exercises in our coming episodes. So hope you understood this concept of a square and square root. Okay? So have a nice day. Thank you.